Hi, this is Mark News from Plant Talk Radio. Thanks for subscribing and listening to our podcast, Your Gardening Questions, from Plant Talk Radio. To help keep this podcast free, we're partnering with Stoke Seeds. More than just a listing of vegetable and flower seeds, the Stoke Seeds website is a complete resource center with valuable information on seed starting, planting, and harvesting, plus all the gardening accessories you need to make your garden the envy of the neighborhood. Pre-order your free 2018 gardening guide today from stokeseeds.com, cultivating successful growers for generations. We'll have more to come from Stoke Seeds in the next few weeks. Now, on to today's question. Hi. Hi. How can we help you, Susan? I've got a small rose. It's a cross between a, a dwarf and a ground rose. Okay. I've put it in a pot because there's just no way I can seem to grow them in the ground. They just don't do it okay. where I have them. And so I've put it in a pot and did real well all summer, but I'm not sure what to do about watering it this winter. I've got it tucked back against the house. Uh, and, but it's under the eaves. Okay. Should I water this thing? By all means, yes. Now, uh, let's, let's start with a very definitive yes, because under most overhangs and right up close to the house, tree roots that you would be concerned about because of the size of the tree will even stop growing. They get in under that 18 inches of overhang, and there's only 6 inches of water from 18 inches out in, and then the last foot toward the foundation is probably dry as a bone. Roots do not grow where there's no moisture and, of course, no oxygen and so on. So your rose is being put into a desert. Now, that's not all bad because I I, I store, and I know some other people who grow bonsai plants, I store my plants in a manner as to water them heavily when I put them away, I use oak leaves piled clear up over the top of the plant, which may or may not be appropriate for you. But I then soak again. Um, well, it depends kind of on, on snow melt and, and rainfall. But I'll soak again sometime during the winter. I'll just take a couple of uh, tea kettles of water out there and pour down through the covering uh, so that they stay moist. And the reason for that for your rose and any other plant is... If if the soil gets dry, there can be just simply desiccation, drying out in depth. I, I'm not sure I understood. Have you planted it next to the foundation, or you've set it there for overwintering? It, it's in a pot uh, for overwintering. Okay, very good. Then I would tell you to take either some garden soil or uh, uh, the end off of a bale of peat moss and break it up, or uh, a good heavy wood bark mulch, and cover at least... Uh, a couple inches of the stem, and then on down into the ground, so that where there can be some freezing, it will be slowed down in terms of fast movement either direction. That's one. Then it will be in a spot where you can, perhaps no more than monthly, go out with a tea kettle of water and be sure that the root zone is staying moist. Now, you don't want to take a chance of watering too often and drowning the plant, because that can still be done in the wintertime. But a rose in a container... Soak it and uh, expect growth in the spring. And it doesn't matter what temperature it is outside at the time? Well, no, not necessarily. It, it, I suppose we could get into some elaborate details on that. But I would say it's just more important that you add some water, cold water, uh, at the time that is convenient for you just so that the root system stays moist. Thanks again for listening to the podcast. If you have a question for Fred, go ahead and email us, fred at planttalkradio.com. And for the best selection of vegetable, flower, and herb seeds available, go to www.stokeseeds.com. Pre-order your free 2018 gardening guide today from stokeseeds.com. Cultivating successful growers for generations.